So I figure what better way to start off this bonus episode, this Halloween bonus episode, than starting with my home state, the state of Massachusetts. The best part of this podcast is that a lot of these things I'm talking about today, I didn't really know about. I did my research, so I got to learn stuff as well. But for the state of Massachusetts, I am very familiar with these legends and lore. So let's start off in the state of Massachusetts with the Bridgewater Triangle. Yes, the name is a takeoff of the famed Bermuda Triangle. Cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman came up with this name, Bridgewater Triangle, back in 1983. It's purported to be a 200 square mile paranormal vortex, with some saying there's more weirdness per square foot here than in the Bermuda Triangle. The paranormal vortex forms essentially a triangle, like it would say in the name, with the three points being in the towns of Abington, Rehoboth, and Freetown. Inside the Bridgewater Triangle are a lot of towns in southeastern Massachusetts. Taunton, Raynham, Berkeley, Dighton, Brockton, Easton, and Bridgewater. There are stories of UFO sightings, orbs, Bigfoot sightings, and other paranormal in this area. You can find creepy videos from the Bridgewater Triangle on TikTok and places like that. The center of activity seems to be Hockamock Swamp in Bridgewater. And this is one of the places that I'm going to talk about on this week's show that I've actually been to. There's a lot of nothing in the area of the Bridgewater Triangle. Creepy, thick forest and the swamp as well. Now, I didn't go and spend several hours wandering around the Hockamock Swamp but I was there long enough. I got some photos. It is every bit as isolated and creepy as you might read in articles, but I didn't see anything or hear anything or have any experiences like that. I'm not saying that it's not filled with weird stuff going on, but I had weirder, creepier vibes walking around the fire roads on Cape Cod out in Wellfleet and Truro than I did in the Hockamock Swamp. Perhaps the creepiest residents of the Bridgewater Triangle are creatures that are known as Puckwudgies. These are of Wampanoag Native American lore, and they're also known as the little wild man of the woods that vanishes. It's a humanoid-like creature said to be around two to three feet tall, and they can shapeshift and appear and disappear at will. Their most common form is that of a half-human, half-troll, looks kind of like a porcupine from the back. And according to Native Americans, they believe that the Puckwudgies were once friendly to humans, but then turned against them and are best left alone. But beware if you go out into the Bridgewater Triangle, because Puckwudgies are known to lure people to their deaths, use magic, launch poison arrows, and create fire. They don't sound like someone you want to meet or mess with. The other myth that I want to share from the state of Massachusetts is one that is also relatively recent. It's interesting because a lot of these legends, myths, and lore, they're from centuries ago. But yet the Bridgewater Triangle is pretty current. And back in the early 1980s on Cape Cod... There was a rash of brutal slaughtering of local pets and livestock by some unknown creature or creatures. It was dubbed the Beast of Truro. And if you haven't heard of it, you'll be shocked to know that there was actually a big write-up, a big article in the New York Times in 1982 about this. So it became national news. It started in September 1981 when a dozen dead cats were found in the same area of Truro. And then right around the turn of the new year in 1982, a 175-pound hog was so badly mauled, its flanks ripped open by deep claw marks and a chunk of flesh ripped out of its neck that it had to be put down. There were reports of more pigs being clawed in their pens at other parts of Truro. And people thought at first it was a pack of wild dogs, maybe. But there were reports of a strange creature that people in town didn't recognize. There were strange noises heard at night. And then there was a close encounter with a couple near Head of the Meadow Beach in Truro, where this creature appeared 
about 50 feet in front of them on the beach with a long rope-like tail. The husband pointed it out, and they both agreed that this was not a fox, with the couple figuring that the creature must have been as tall as their knees and weighing between 60 and 80 pounds. And despite the couple making noise and getting a branch to try to scare the creature off, it didn't run. It just casually walked and kept going off a path. Several people that were witness to this creature believe it was a mountain lion. The Beast of Truro attacks didn't last much longer after this article in the New York Times in January 1982. So it was brief, but obviously terrifying. And if you think a mountain lion couldn't get down to Cape Cod and get all the way out to Truro and kind of hang out there... In 2012, we had a black bear get down on Cape Cod and wander its way all the way out from the canal all the way out to Brewster. And back in the early 1980s, 70% of the town of Truro was undeveloped land, part of the national seashore. So it is possible that a mountain lion could have been the beast of Truro. But if any of you out there that grew up on Cape Cod in Massachusetts have memories of the beast of Truro and what you think it was... Definitely let me know your ideas.